Now that's ringing. Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. So if you've been watching the channel recently, you know that I've been messing around with some microwave radio stuff, in particular these decked cordless phones. So I've kind of extended the range on these a bit by putting an external antenna on the base station. Go check those other videos out if you're interested in that. So today I woke up and it's really misty outside, like there's lots of moisture in the air, and I wanted to know, is this actually gonna affect my system, which runs on 1800 or 1900 megahertz? So what we're gonna do is exactly that, go outside and test it. I've been doing a lot of testing recently with this stuff, so I know where I'm getting a signal and where I'm not. So it'd be a good chance to test if all the mist and all the moisture in the air, all that autumnal stuff, actually affects radio waves on these frequencies. Let's do it. Winter's definitely here now. So I've put the base station back up on the pole and put it in one of these little food bags to protect it from the moisture, because it is so damp today. Look at it, you cannot see that moisture in the air. Right, so first little test. Let's ring ringing. Hello. Hiya, you all right? Yes. Good, all right, okay. I'm, uh, um, I'm at the end of the road. I've just done a quick test, but I'm gonna head to the churchyard now and just see. All right, then, Bye. Right, I'm up here. So it doesn't really look that murky up here, um, but you can see that there's a lot of water sort of droplets in the air. And obviously when I looked out the upstairs window, you know, it's, you can't even see this church right now. It's, it's, there's a lot of, uh, lot of mist. So I've actually got a signal from the base station, which is good. So that's probably the same as it was before. Um, and we'll give it another, a little test and see. Now that's ringing. There. <laughs> in the mist. <laughs> the church? Yeah, at the church. Sounds absolutely fine. It's no different to what it was before. Oh, if anything, probably sounds better. You reckon? <laughs> maybe the um, maybe the water droplets in the air are helping the helping the signal. But yeah, there's absolutely no effect on it at all. Yeah, no, you sound really clear. Receiving you loud and clear, caller. Loud and clear. <laughs> okay, darling. All right. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Buns, yeah, from Audi. Nice, get my buns out. <laughs> but, wicked, it's so good. Right, so I've just come out to the other location, guys. I'm gonna try something else, but you can see how murky it is, look. so you can't even see. Right, so I'm up here in this place and I can receive the base station as usual. Um, but this is the place where I can never get a signal here, where I can never actually place a call. It just never works. And it's about a mile away. So I'm, I think maybe we were just, you know, at the stretches of communications. So what I was going to try is another antenna on here and see if it actually makes any difference. And the one I've got is this one. It's just like a 4G router antenna, high gain. So I'm going to stick this on the, on the handheld and see if it makes any difference. Right, so I've got the high gain antenna on. It's picked up the base station again, which is good. Um, and we'll just try and place a call. And I'm not expecting this to do any different. No, it's just dropping it. It's just dropping the call. Um, so yeah. I don't know what this is. Oh, we've got two bars though. We've got two bars on the actual. If you've got two bars, surely that should, you know, should make, be able to make a call, but no, nah, it's just not able to do it at this distance. Right, next thing I'm gonna try, look what I've got in my bag. I've got the Hack RF. So I'm gonna see if I can receive the beacons from the base station and see how strong they are. And just kind of, you know, just see it visually what's actually going on here. I've got the high gain antenna on this. So because I'm actually recording on my phone, I'm gonna to have to just show you a screen capture of um, the phone with the uh, RF analyzer software. So um, we'll head over there now and we'll see if we can actually pick up the beacons from the base station on this and see it on a waveform. Okay, so I'm gonna open my RF analyzer software um, and we'll start it. It's asking if it wants permission to the hack RF. Let's turn it that way, make it a bit easier for you guys to see. Um, so you can see it's basically running um, and we're on the sort of 1900 megahertz band. There you go, you can see the signal. That's the signal, I'm guessing that signal there was the one from um, the phone that I've got here, probably looking for that base station. So what I'll do is I'll just I'll just turn this phone off so that it doesn't you know confuse what we're looking at. It's turned off now. Okay, cool. So what we're looking for on here is a signal, a spike from my base station. Um and right now it doesn't look like I know it's around the same frequencies as as the um as the actual handsets. But that's crazy. If 
you see that is you can't even see it on here well, what was that over there so the, if the for the actual phone handset to be picking that up is pretty pretty interesting um let's see if i can give it some more gain see if there's any sort of way i can increase set the gain let's turn the gain let's turn the gain up it's definitely down there in the noise isn't it so you're never going to see that but obviously the phone can pick it up which is pretty amazing so yeah, interesting stuff guys. The answer to the question is no, the mist and the moisture doesn't affect this particular system. I think it probably might do if, if the range was longer, maybe you know stuff in the air is bound to affect it. But I think it's more likely to affect frequencies higher. I mean, I've got to admit, I don't notice my mobile phone signal kind of dropping when there's a mist on or, you know, lots of moisture in the air. So I think the frequencies have got to be quite a bit higher before mist and moisture comes into play. And also the distances have got to be greater as well before you're going to notice any effects on that. I think there's something to do with the mass of a water droplet and 50 to 60 gigahertz. I haven't researched this, um, but yeah, interesting stuff. So this little system's working really well at the moment as well. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, um, maybe go check some of the other videos out that I've done about this. But in a nutshell, Basically, I'm experimenting with these decked phone systems as a way of having a completely independent um, communication system that's full duplex, so you can place proper calls um, from handset to handset um, without the internet and without a landline. So maybe like for a use in an emergency or areas where there's no cell coverage, you could actually use this system to provide communications like quite reliably in a kind of one kilometer radius. It's pretty cool stuff. So another little note about using the high gain antenna on the handset, it's interesting that I wasn't expecting it to make any difference and it actually didn't make any difference at the fringe. When I did some more tests, which I might put in another video, um, I was actually getting more continuous coverage with the additional antenna on the handset. But in reality, the trade-off for having something big and bulky hanging off the top of the phone, it's probably not worth having that flapping about on top when this actually does the job pretty well. So anyway, guys, hope you found this interesting. I've got more experiments to do with this, so stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,